Hey, John, I wanted to show this to you because I think I might have found something by mistake while I was doing some testing. So I just wanted to get it out on video. So needless to say, what I've done is I've stripped everything off. Um, don't need anything on here at all. Uh, you know, all I'm strictly looking at is this 34.5 uh, change in direction on the small triggers. When these small triggers come uh, cross, which price is up here. If you got in on a reversal bar, how many times does it come and breach the low pivot, like a pivot stop out type of situation? So if we put an order in here and we got a stop, you know, maybe down here somewhere, 20 ticks below that. So it's a big stop. So you're looking at 70, you know, say 80 ticks or something. How many times does it come back here before it goes back up again? And like in this case, we would have been popped out, but we would have gotten in right here. And it never came back that far, and then off it goes to the races. Same thing, let's look over here now. So when it does come down, now of course you have to have bigger swings. So anything minimal like this, I would probably stay away from. But when you've got bigger swings like this, if you went short here, you're running this thing down until you get out right here. And the reason why I say that is because my dynamic, I have set my dynamic um, trade management to follow. I have it set for eight ticks, but it follows eight ticks behind number two here, the large, this one here. So right here, if you notice at the beginning, it's... It's way up here. Well, first of all, it would be up here. I don't even start it until I'm 50 ticks into the into the money. So I need I need to be able to convert this to a short. So it's not going to take an effect right away. I've got some pivot trailing stops and things like that. It's all trade management business. But in any event, you get in here. You've satisfied this. You're not getting hit. So you've come down. Once you get down enough, you start trailing here. And look at the spread on this. Um... If you're like down here up to a few ticks before, that's 80 ticks of risk. How many times does it go up 80 ticks to turn around? Okay, not often. But notice what it does. And that's why I have this as a dynamic. I call it dynamic because look, it's 80 ticks. But here, when they start getting in weaker and they start getting inside of each other, notice that the price, if you haven't already figured this out, but notice the price is now... 47 ticks of risk. So this moves, and that's why I have it used as a dynamic because it's based on that linear regression. And so this moves closer and closer and closer until eventually it gets popped out or just keeps running and we stay safe behind it. It can keep coming in here as many times as it wants as long as it doesn't breach by eight ticks. Um, and we could change that, but you know, regardless. So, and now the same thing. So now we get we get out here and we're instantly in here again. We're already in the money and we're chasing it right here. So we are, you know, we're already safe regardless of what happens. How many times does it come back and pop out this low trigger, assuming we're not in this kind of shitty uh, area? And then the other question would be then, how do we define this shitty area not to do it? Or at least not to do, we could put filters and things like that in there. We don't want any longs right here we only want shorts so short here get out here short here get out here short here get out here or somewhere like right around here um short again so what defines this we have to look at a higher time frame and say look if the higher time frames are going short only do shorts vice versa etc um, or whatever. But right now, I am only going to just do it manually. Now, I've got my up-down bar, up, bar set, not for the 13.2, but I have it set for 34.5. And here's my reversal bar trigger. This gold one over here on the small chart, or the black one over here. I probably should have made them the same color, but regardless, it's, it's over there. Um, so I'm going to say go to this. I'm going to unpause it. And I'm just going to say, now we keep in mind, in order to go up, we have to have down and vice versa. So I will just pick one, I guess. doesn't really matter. I'll just go long. I might have missed it now. Well, then I'll go short. How's that? 
Okay, so there you should start seeing the trigger right there. There's the entry trigger. So just let it go. And just, you know, go do your thing. Eventually it's going to cross. And I have it set up here now to see what happens. So let's see what happens. So now it's going to cross. As long as the large trigger starts to go in our direction, we're good to go. Now keep in mind that it has to breach that. Okay, so now we've got the large trigger going on our in our favor. And I guess I'm... I guess I just give a point out. All right, so I don't know what's going on in the higher time frames, but this shit's going up. So, um, but I don't know that. So I'm just going to do it again. Eventually, it's going to cross. You can fast forward at this point. Oh, I guess I could turn it up faster. Maybe that'll happen. Okay, I don't, I'd like to see what's going on in the bigger time frames, but nothing we could do about that right now. Okay, so now it should kick in. There it is. So now from this point forward, we're kicking in. I do have a pivot trailing flat right now. It'll jump down there if it goes down. Okay, so much for that. All right, so now I should have had one on already, but it's, it's too late. So I'll just go down again. Man, this is sluggish. I got to reboot this computer. I might have missed it. So the other thing I could do is just go short and say, screw it. So I'm just going to go short. What is going on with that? All right, hold on. There's something short. Order submitted. God, this ninja. I mean, I got to reboot. This thing is ridiculous. But in any event, so I just went short. So I'm obviously, my stop is probably going to lose. And I'm going to go short again. So... In case I get popped out, I'm already set up for short. And I'll change that to long once I get in the money. Now at 50, I have it set for 50 ticks to start chasing. Now that can be changed, but whatever. <clears throat> I need that 50 ticks so we can get that large trigger to go in our direction. Now, the pivot trailing stop should pop because I have it set for 34 retracement. If it comes back and pulls back 34 ticks and then it goes in our direction, it should pop down there. Mm, I don't know why it isn't. It definitely should be. Well, now it won't. Okay, so now I'm set up to go short again. There's the entry trigger. Eventually. You see how it's getting choppy? If we can get away from that chop and get in you know, maybe get in on a 21.3 reversal bar or something, I don't know. Or on a pullback, you know, when it trips, put, the, put it, that's another thing we could do. When it trips right there, instead of getting in, put put the order in back 20 ticks. Because we know it's probably going to come back. I look at this management now, so it should kick in here shortly. I could probably change that to start kicking in. Yeah, see, I like to stay out of the way. Oh, let me throw on a uh, another one. Let me do it again. So if I do get popped out, I'll go back short again. Okay, so now I'm. Now I could probably do, let me do a long. So let me go long. If it flips, we'll get in on a, it'll automatically turn on long and go the other direction. So look, look at this thing. Let's see if it goes. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Awfully choppy. It really wants to go up, but it's starting to fail. Now look how tight we are though. It's starting to get a little tighter to that price. Look how tight that is. Okay, now it should go up as soon as we, we hit this. Maybe we should have done a down bar, I don't know. But we're going up and there it is again. Now that was a pivot trailing stop, by the way. That's why that popped up there. 
There we go. Now we're gonna start chasing that because we're at 50 ticks. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go do this again. I'm gonna put a down bar on. I just randomly picked this day because it's in my in my uh, computer and it just turned on on this day. So I obviously we need to test more stuff, but I'd really like to figure out how to get away from that chop. And if we can figure that out, and I like the offset business. Okay, so there we go. Check that out. I like that. <laughs> I've got to show these settings for Ninja. Um, so this is what I just did here, but we didn't start to like 10 o'clock. This is stuff I was doing earlier, but we didn't start until like noon or something. But anyway, I just want to show you the trade here. So I'm just going to scan up and down. Here we go. You can pause it anywhere you want. Here, I'll even throw it on the... Again, this number here, we started uh, in the video I some negative number because I just did it real quick. So um, you really got to... can't really use these numbers, but I have to show it for Ninja. So... If you want to go in there and look at them individually, they're there. All right, thanks.